Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 2 Rags to Riches. It's been forever. I am so sorry. But we're back. Um, what were we doing? <laughs> I think Matt just got off of work. Um, did we get promoted? Yes, we are a high school principal. Okay. Um, we need to work on our skills and get another friend. We can do that. Uh, let's go. I want to get to the top of this career. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to get to the top of this career and make some money so we can get this challenge over with. Matt's been living in limbo for a minute. Oh, looks like we have some mail. So let's get that mail, pay these bills. Oh, he needs entertainment. Yeah, his fun is low. So we'll pay these bills. And then we'll probably watch TV. Oh, it's a love letter. It must be from... Oh god, what's his name? Oh god, I forgot his name. Our fiancé. Matt, nah, uh, Peter. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a long time. Alright, so what do we do with that now? Alright, let's have you go watch TV. Go on, girl. Go piss, girl. Um. Okay. Is that in our inventory? Matt Cash's bug collection. Serving platter. Thanks for the fun note. What's this say? I had fun. I hope you know that dating you was good. And if you wonder, should I ask again? I say you should. Oh. I guess this is like for having a good date with Peter. Well, that's nice. Um, let's put it there. Is it a portrait of Peter? Oh God, that zoom. Oh, it is. With a little note on the back. It's a card. Mary, come on. There we go. Oh, where did it go? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is probably rotten as hell. They're sandwiches. Okay. Why do I have... Oh, I think that's from when he made many. They've just been sitting in my inventory for like freaking weeks at this point. Oh, but they seem to be okay. Hurry and go put those away before they rot. And then we'll come back and watch some more TV. Okay, so we need to take care of his needs and then start working on these skills and acquiring another friend. He's cheering at an alien movie, girl. Don't be that person. All right, so he's gonna pee. And then, what do we need to do? We need logic and cleaning. So let's study cleaning. There it is. And we'll do that till we're ready for bed. Because his fun is up now. So how's everyone been? Um, <laughs> if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I haven't been the best, but I'm getting better. Hence the recording. Let's answer this actually. It might be a friend we need to talk to. I still don't know why he gets outdoor enthusiasm for studying cleaning. Can someone explain that to me? <laughs> Hello? Um, who's that? Benjamin Monif. We don't really even know him. It's fine. If we become friends with him, I'll be very happy. Okay, so that's done. Um, his energy is still okay. It is 11 at night, though. We better just go to bed. Alright, so we, we're gonna have him sleep. See you in the morning. Okay, he is up and awake. We're going to get some leftovers. And probably take a shower and then go to work. When do we work again? 9 to 4. So the 
carpool will be here at 8. So yeah, we'll probably just have time to eat and shower. Let's have some sandwiches. Oh good, we were out of other food. So that actually worked out really well. I'm glad that those stayed fresh in our inventory. Alright, so we're going to eat and then put away leftovers. And then take a... Or we're going to clean that. Take a shower. And then we should be ready for work. So let's zip through all this. Newspaper won't be delivered. That's fine. Let's go to work. Matt is losing enthusiasm about games. That's fine. Ooh, look at that new work uniform. Oh, that's sleek. I love that. Oh, he looks so nice. Okay, so let's have him go to work. He'll come back. He Ooh. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Cancel. Okay. Now he's going to go to work. Come home. We'll get some skills and friendship done stuff tonight. Okay. <laughs> I can't talk. Bye. And he has arrived home. How much did he make? $16.40. That's so nice. He needs to get this mail because we have bills today. Hurry and pay those. What's he thinking about? Bags of money. Good. Oh, God. I've forgotten how to play. Oh, it's only $114. That's so nice. Our little house is very economical. <laughs> All right, so let's use the toilet. And then study cleaning again. And then once we get this cleaning, cleaning skill point, I'm going to invite someone over and we'll play chess with them. I don't know who. Because we need to get our logic skill up. Oh, someone's outside reading my paper. What's that? Okay, there's point to skill in cleaning. Okay, let's cancel that. Um, Logic. It's 737. I can invite someone over. Call Sim. Let's invite Jason over. Jason Menon. Or Victor Stratton. Is he... I think he's the teenager that we know. Yeah, let's do him. Because I think he's probably our lowest friend. Invite over. Yeah, he's only at 66. So we need to keep him higher. Okay, so he's going to come over. And we're going to play chess with him. And that'll get our fun up too. Cool. Where are you? Oh, we have another hole. Of course. My marital hole has appeared. What? <laughs> God's above. Um, let's get rid of this. It's not worth anything. And then actually, let's see if we can get another one. Money tree. Noodle soother. What's this? Uh, weather machine. Smart milk we don't need. Cool shades. Window dressing. Uh, old life. Thinking cap. Is there anything that helps you like make friends? Suck and succubus. Ooh, the love tub. I didn't know that was in this game. So this is 30,000. We have 84. We're fine. <laughs> it pays to fulfill your Sims wants, doesn't it? All right. So let's go back into live mode. There he is. Uh, greet Victor. And then we can start playing chess. Hi, Victor. Oh, is it appropriate to kiss the teenager? Mm, that's questionable. We'll see if Victor joins us for some chess. Looks like he's starting to watch TV. Yep. What's he watching? Whoa. Oh, it's a sitcom. That makes sense. Can we ask him to join? 
Yeah, ask to join. There we go. So let's get this skill up and make friends. Uh-oh. Oh, we're up at 99 with him. That's fabulous. 100. Perfect. Nope. Uh, we don't need to answer the phone. It's fine. <gasps> Sorry for that horrendous ringing noise, especially on triple speed. But cool, we shouldn't lose him as a friend in a long time. And there's a logic skill point. Can we get another one? Oh my god, it's 3 in the morning. Okay, we need to say goodbye. Didn't realize that. Okay, uh, more. More. Say goodbye. Stop playing. Sleep. God's above. Luckily, his bed is really good, so we should be okay. Also, why is this teenager out? It's 3.50 in the morning. Like, his parents should have come and gotten him. Oh, the chair stinks from where he was. That's not great. A Victor? Um, hello? What is happening? Okay, bye. Okay, I'm waking Matt up because it's basically 7. His carpool gets here at 8. I need him to pee and shower. He's real stinky. And then he can go to work. Um, it's not going to be the best job performance today, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> he should be fine. Hopefully we won't get one of those um, random events that I keep failing. That'd be nice. But see his job performance. It'll go up. It's fine. So, yeah. Once he's ready for work, he'll go. And then we can come back and... Honestly, I might invite someone off the street to come in and play chess with me so that I can make a new friend. Because <laughs> I need a new friend. And I peaked at, like, the top level career for this. And I think you need something crazy, like 13 friends. It's a lot. So we need to make... Oh, my God. The thunder and lightning always scares me. Um, <laughs> we need to make more friends. So hopefully we can accomplish that. So now we're just waiting for the carpool. God's above. Yeah, and he's not in a bad mood today. That's fine. All right, come on, Matt. Don't miss work, though. Let's go. <laughs> he changed into his everyday clothes and then into his work uniform. That's a little silly. I really love that uniform. Okay, be back when he gets back. Oh, fuck. Matt is becoming increasingly worried about students falling asleep during class. Teachers can barely teach the students anything and morale is at an all-time low. Matt brings in a group of consultants and they offer two solutions to the problem. The first solution is to use ombutronic generators to cool the school to near freezing temperatures, making it impossible to fall asleep. The alternative is arming every teacher, aide, and gym coach with a personal bullhorn to wake drowsy students. Both choices are rather extreme, though desperate times call for desperate measures. Which plan should Matt implement? This sounds like a nightmare. Um, oh, gods. I can ignore it. Does, what does that do? Oh, god. I'm just gonna do bullhorns. The chill the school sounds awful, so bullhorns? Matt thinks it's best if the teachers use bullhorns to keep the students awake. It isn't a big surprise when students stay awake for lectures after only one or two bullhorns are unleashed. Though the teachers feel a bit foolish when the majority of the students suffer te temporary hearing loss. Unable to teach students who cannot hear, Matt is forced to admit failure and the classrooms are once again filled with snoring students who for the first time being also cannot hear. To help recover the cost of the bullhorns and ear treatment for the students, Matt is forced to pay 2,340 simoleons. My favorite. God, I hate those random events. I don't think I've gotten a single good fucking one. Well, we're home now. <laughs> God, I'm so pissed. That was like two days salary. That sucks. Um, what's this? Play Marco Polo. Girl, there is not a pool here. Um, I think I'm just going to have him practice chess on his own. Because he needs to get to bed early tonight. Because his energy is really bad. Well. No, fuck it. We're just going to get the skill point. We'll focus on the friendship later. Oh. 
god, someone walked in. What happened? Don't think we haven't noticed your enthusiasm in games, Matt. As a small reward, please feel free to journey to Games of Glory where gaming is king. Maybe I should go to one of these hobby lots and make friends. That might be something we can do. And then there's random old women chilling outside. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, he's going to bed. That's fine. That's what I want. Okay, see you guys in the morning. All right, we are up and awake. And he's using the toilet. After that, we're going to have him take a shower and then get some leftovers. And then we should be ready for work. Carpool will arrive in an hour. Get some sandwiches. Make sure we put those away. Uh, we're going to be a little late for the carpool today, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> Honestly. Where are they? There they are. They're a little late, actually. Okay, so he's going to put those away and then he'll head to work. Um, if he's feeling okay tonight, I think I'm going to invite someone off of the street to play chess with me and actually follow through with that tonight. So let's see what happens. Be back in a minute. And we have returned home. Let's see if there's anyone walking around. I don't see anybody. He's re-rolling his wands. So let's just go ahead and practice this. And if someone strolls by, I'll invite them in. What are you doing at the mailbox? Oh yeah, we have bills. Meh. <laughs> I can't really be asked about that right now. Oh, there's, oh, it's Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Great, Brandon. We'll play chess with Brandon. I think I remember him liking chess. So that'll be good. Plus our relationship with him could, uh, we're at 94, but it's always good to get it back up. I'm worried about the relationship with Samantha Otimus. Maybe we could invite Charlie or Phil over and get our relationship higher with them. At some point, I don't know. So let's practice and then we'll ask Brandon to join once he starts watching TV. The TV really overrides a lot of other autonomy in this game. Um, maybe now? Yeah, ask to join. Come on, Brandon, let's play chess. Give me that skill point, girl. Put it in my skill -issy. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so we have all the skills we need. We just need friendship. So what are our needs looking like? Um, Let's end this. Matt, was that necessary? Did we have to yell? <laughs> let's eat something and then go to the loo and then probably shower and go to bed and I think I'll leave us there um so we got all of our skills we just need that friend now I probably should also start taking that elixir of life and then Brandon can come get a sandwich that'd be fine he doesn't really have a place to eat though because we have dirty plates out let's speed this up a little Sorry if I've been speeding up a lot lately. I need to get through this. Oh, whatever. Who cares about my enthusiasm with film and literature? Clean up your plates, girl. Yes, he got both of them. Thank you. And then put away leftovers. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> Clean up. Take a shower. Actually, use the toilet first because that lowers your hygiene. Then take a shower and then say goodbye and then go to sleep. We'll sleep in your underwear today. It's so weird to me that like, <laughs> I mean, it's just weird because like gay Sims love sports. But like all Sims love sports. That's just kind of how the game's programmed. But like, it's funny watching Matt and Brandon be like, yeah, football. <laughs> oh, the TV's gonna stay on all night, whatever. Um, 
I'm going to leave us here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to get that next friend, get that next promotion, and we'll take it from there. I also need to find something to spend this money on. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy an actual car. That's something to think about. Then we can just drive to work on our own and just sell the the junker instead of having to debate whether we keep it or not. So that might be the tea. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.